how to do how to do my youtube family and friends you powerful powerful awesome people welcome back to another video today's friday it's storming outside like a lot of thunder loud loud thunder <laughs> last time we had so much rain i didn't get to videotape any rain drops falling on my head here in jamaica because of the loud booming i can't i can't handle it but um today again it's 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 expected this is a tropics and that's part of it right that's just hard for miss bev though to handle <laughs> but it's okay so today i want to say thank you and welcome back to the channel Thank you for supporting me um, as I continue onward and upward. I want to leave this little message with you guys that some of the things we talk about, I see a lot of the comments where it talks about education, whether it's in the traffic thing that we spoke about yesterday or other aspects of our lives. Um, education is, is important. And as I often say to us, education is not just ABCs or one, two, threes or big degrees that we hold, but education is just a knowledge of whatever is happening around us. So education breeds confidence. Confidence breeds hope. Hope breeds peace. And peace breeds health and prosperity for all of us. If we look at the connections we can see that it doesn't matter what's going on if these things are in place then you know if you have hope then you know that your day will come things will change for you um, you will develop that mindset to go out there and fight for what you need too many people who have not had um, but had but they had hope and they get up and they, they, they try something for themselves. The mobile market that came to us yesterday, that came here yesterday, right? Maybe she has a degree and wasn't working out. I don't know her, her background. But just to get a vehicle and instead of driving up and down and, 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 and wasting time, she used it to haul foods into communities where people will appreciate it. So we can, we, can, we can get up and find hope if we choose to want to have it. So my, my note today, guys, is, um, you know, I've been here just wondering. I was talking to my old neighbor in Connecticut, and the thing that we, we were talking about, and, and I said it even when I was in Connecticut years and years ago. When I came home in 1999, I remembered... Um, there was a, it's, it's a long time Jamaica has gone rogue. A teacher went to cash her check and by the time she got back to her school, rubbers hauled up on her and robbed her of what she had. And what was, uh, what was interesting was that they knew exactly, she went to the bank and returned to school and they knew exactly they didn't have to search her bag they just went right into the pocket where she had placed that money and it has been since those days that i kept wondering why is it that these bank tellers are allowed to have access to their phones in the bank i honestly feel that when bank tellers just like when they go to go to to work in 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 i think walmart and those stores that they have to put their things away they can't have it on the floor then i think these are, are practices that jamaica needs to, to put in place where you come into the bank you put away your devices because I, in my heart i feel like the way that woman was robbed that day Somebody told those little, mm, the little buddies outside, they told them exactly where to find that woman's money. And so I was talking to Miss Hyacinth today, blessings Miss Hyacinth, right? And as I was talking to her, those are some of the things that came up because 
she, she was sharing about the lady in Holland, Bamboo area, where she, where she went to the bank, drew a large sum of money. Yep, they came, they robbed. Now, thank God they didn't kill her, but they robbed, they took everything. Um, we spoke about this man who came, went down, came down here to bury his brother, and he went to the bank with his nephew and draw this heap of money to go to the to the, the funeral home. And as they walked out, they came, the robbers came and took his, his, his pouch. His nephew stood there. And so in your heart, you're saying, that must be a setup from the nephew. He did nothing, he wasn't shocked. It was like he was expecting it because they go back and get their cut. And then we have this lady that my driver told me about and um, and how each time she would go, and it's only when she went to the bank that she got robbed, that the, the car got robbed. Only when she went to the bank. So who is so dumb? Who is so dumb? It has to be somebody from the inside. Because when she goes to the regular market or regular other things, she goes home fine. Only when she goes to the bank that the, 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 the thing gets hold up. And so... I, I believe strongly this other lady, she went to the bank, but she was smart because listening to, to the kind of things that were going on, when she went to the bank, drew a whole lot of money. But what she did, she put herself in the bathroom. She carried an extra shirt. And so when, after she did her transaction, she didn't go straight out. She went into the bathroom. And when she went in, she changed her shirt and she took the hat off her head. And she was able to get home with her money because who they were looking for outside didn't come out the bank. And maybe they weren't looking for her, but she was sure that, that they probably call and tell the, the little the little hustlers outside that this woman drew a huge sum of money. So they should not be allowed to have access to their devices. They should be in the bank doing the transactions and without the phone. The day I told you guys that I sat in the bank for over three hours waiting to be served. And the, the young lady behind the counter, yeah, she had her phone right there. She's doing the transactions with these people. She's showing them on the phone how to navigate, how to navigate the, the, the bank um, portal. But she had her device right there with her. Now who is to tell she's not sharing information with people outside? A quick text message, boom, boom. You think she's over there processing your papers? So they should not allow these people to have those things available only because they can be used for negative behaviors. Share in the comments with me what you think, my people. Thank you so much for all your love and your support, all your respect, all your kindness. As I said this morning to Mr. Everton, yeah, people will say things, but you know what? For me, I think this respect, when people talk about your skin color or your or you nappy here, you picky here, what have you. It, it, the, it just shows ignorance because my picky here is what God gave to me and my black skin color is what I was blessed with. And I love it. Nice and smooth. Um, and so, whoa. That was a big lightning, guys. And so, you know, I just, people who would talk about your skin color, you're not be here, things you cannot change, are just ignorant, just very ignorant. So um, I don't let them bother me too much. Make it a great day by trust, my people. Take care, be good to yourself.